My name is Kendall Yora, and I am a freshman at Wilmot Union High School. Our first speaker grew up in Kenosha and attended Bradford High School. Corporal Zerner enlisted into the United States Marine Corps after high school and trained as a USMC military policeman. He was quickly selected to serve the White House as a presidential guard. While assigned to the HMX-1 presidential security detail, his duties took him around the world under Presidents Reagan, Bush, and Vice President Quayle. Serving as a Sergeant of the Guard, Zerner supervised his own detachment of armed Marines around the globe supporting the White House. Following Corporal Zerner's military service, he attended UW Parkside earning a degree in political science. Zerner has served as a supervisor for the Kenosha County Sheriff's Department for over a decade, serving in all divisions of the Sheriff's Department. In 2014, Sheriff Zerner was named Police Officer of the Year. Zerner is a founding member of the Drone Unit and Hostage Negotiation Unit, and he was a school resource officer at Wilmot High School for four years. Sheriff Zerner is a police science instructor and concealed carry course instructor at Gateway Technical College and a certified rifle and pistol instructor, marine rifle and pistol expert, and both a Glock and AR-15 armorer. Zerner is a Northwestern University Police Supervisor Academy graduate and an FBI Executive Leadership Training graduate. Sheriff Zerner is a member of the Opioid Tax Force and serves on the Kenosha County Chapter 51 Committee for Mental Health as well as on the Board of Directors for Women and Children's Horizons. And Sheriff, in 2022, Sheriff Zerner was elected Sheriff of Kenosha County where he is leading the third largest Sheriff's Department in the state of Wisconsin. Zerner is currently serving as a board member for the Kenosha Harbor Market and is a member of Post 81 American Legion. Sheriff Zerner lives in Pleasant Prairie with his wife Amy of 23 years and four sons. Sheriff Zerner's father, uncles, both brothers and cousins all served in the military. However, Sheriff is the only Marine. Please join me in welcoming Sheriff Zerner. Give me a second while I figure out the mechanics of this. Thank you. Good morning, Wilmot. Make some noise. Last time I stood on this stage, I was a school resource officer here. That was a good day. I think the uh, staff was a little nervous of what I was going to say. That might be again. Um, thank you for that really long bio. I did send an email saying, please edit it. Okay. All right. That last line of that introduction, and thank you for that beautiful introduction. The last line talked about my family. I'd like to talk about that now. All the men that came before me. As a boy, I idolized my dad. My uncles, my brothers, my cousins. They were all military men. They were heroes. They were my heroes. Some of you may be having that same experience in your lives. As you can imagine, I've given plenty of presentations before, including here. I took over some classrooms. Teachers, I'm sorry. Sometimes I felt like I needed to run my mouth. None of, those, none of these presentations have ever been the same. Every audience is unique, and you are all very unique. We're here to show our reverence for our veterans. But I simultaneously, I want to explain how important the staff and the students are. <clears throat> um, from the back corner there is Deputy Max Isaac. As you all know, he's your school resource officer. Uh, Max Isaac has distinguished himself. Give it up for that man. Has he done a great job for a while? I apologize to you all now. I don't know how long you're going to keep him. I may have other things planned for him. As I've said on many occasions, my time as a school resource officer has probably been the most impactful and important time in my career. Students, you have a future. You are our future. You are our teachers and you are our protectors. You just don't realize it yet. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we're here today to reflect on Veterans Day, a time when we express our profound gratitude to the brave individuals who have served and sacrificed for our nation. Let us remember that respect and reverence for our veterans was far beyond mere words. 
that requires a very deep understanding. Understanding of the sacrifices made, commitment, the commitment to ensuring the contributions are never forgotten, our commitment to ensure they're not forgotten. <clears throat> the top of my page is to slow down because I need to be reminded. Our veterans embody the essence of selflessness, courage, and dedication. They stood on the front lines. I'm going to look away from this paper for a second. Think about that for a second. Front lines, battlefields. What does that look like to you in your mind? It's a very real thing. If you haven't been there, movies, pop culture is about all you have to reflect on to figure it out, unless you take the time to talk to a veteran. Think about what they've endured for us. <clears throat> I take this as a reminder that the liberties we enjoy come at a cost. It's an opportunity to express our gratitude not only through words, but through actions. We can demonstrate our commitment to upholding the values for which our veterans fought. These are my values and I hope they are your values. As we go about our daily lives, let us carry the spirit of Veterans Day with us. Show respect to veterans. Not just on this designated day, but every day. Take the time to listen to their stories. I did that this morning. There's a couple gentlemen in the room here. I won't say their names, but they're brothers. They both served in the Navy. I thought one of them was in the Marine Corps for a while, and I found out he was a Navy corpsman. He actually served on the same ship. I see them at coffee once in a while. And today, after a couple years of knowing them, I'm starting to hear some of those stories. That's what it takes. You won't hear the stories on the first visit. I want to talk about their sacrifice. Please let me expand. We are a numbers aware society. Principals behind you, the administrators, there's a day every year you've probably been told about it. You gotta be in school. They have to have everybody needs to be here because that day the number of students that are in their classes designates how much money the school gets for the year. It's very important. We're numbers people. I was a mortgage broker. Numbers are important. I like numbers. I've stolen some of this material from Senator Johnson. So I have a number for you today. One million. Over one million American sons and daughters sacrificed. They paid the ultimate price defending our freedom, your freedom. They've given us this opportunity. They've given us this land. Over one million sons, daughters, brothers, and sisters gave their lives for us. What were they defending? What did they defend? They defended freedom. They gave us this gift, this essential ingredient that makes America the marvel that it is. They give us the ability to dream. This is where you come in, students. They give us the ability, the freedom, and the ability to aspire to what we can be, to be great. A lot of you are up there in these bleachers thinking about that. What am I going to do? You're not. The only person, everyone's trying to figure it out. What are you gonna do with your lives? I'm asking you to consider a life of service, and if not help anyone, anything you can do, as they have for us. I'm gonna wrap this up. Let Veterans Day serve as a reminder that respect and reverence for our veterans should be an integral part of our character. By understanding and acknowledging their sacrifices, we contribute to a culture of gratitude and honor. I want to be part of that culture. I hope you do too. As students, and I say that collectively because I'm still a student of my life and my people and my craft, let us carry this responsibility with pride. Ensure that the legacy of our veterans lives on in our hearts and our actions. I'm just asking this one thing. I'm going to give this microphone away. Earn it. Deserve it. Your staff here, her teachers, these veterans that sit before us are asking you to take care of this gift. Take care of one another. Thank you veterans for everything you've done. I appreciate you. And I didn't look at you much because I don't want to start crying. God bless you all. God bless America. And thank you for that gift.